Ah, <sighs> okay. For lack of a better term, let's get this place over with. Because, ah, uh, this is just a painful dungeon. It's the only dungeon with multiple floors, and it requires a lot of going up and down management. And if you screw up, it can just take an obnoxiously long amount of time. But, what we gotta do, we, 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 uh, I can't even talk, right? We gotta do what we gotta do. And what we gotta do, unfortunately, is going into this dungeon. Gibdos. That's the mummy man's name. Cat, would you mind not bumping into me into my arm while I'm trying to record? Thank you. I forget if like likes can actually eat your shield in this game. See that treasure chest there? It's surrounded by crystals, and we can't get to it. We need to hit a switch, like that one, over there. And then go around and come back here. But you know, all that trouble, that's for people without boomerangs. We get our dungeon item, the mirror shield. That didn't take long. You can turn back beams that you couldn't before. How about that? Oh. We get a small key. Glad I didn't forget about that. Now, let's give the dungeon the benefit of the doubt and do what it actually wants us to do. I don't mind choosing it there though because, well, I already explained how much I hate this place. I don't mind a Zelda dungeon that makes us think, but this place just borders on obnoxious. It's a shame it's in my favorite Zelda game. The next time I hear somebody complain about the Water Temple, I'm gonna shove this game in their face and force them to play this dungeon. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Will the Pegasus boots help me out here? They will. We need to carry this ball around with us. And use it to knock stuff over. House renovation! Sorry. My cat was again bumping into my arm. I love you too, kitty, but I'm busy. Don't need to be a jerk. But everyone can be a jerk every now and then and still be a nice guy. She's actually probably hungry. It is around one of her various feeding times. But enough about my cat! There's a map here. I'll feed you in a second, kitten, okay? At least let me get to the midpoint. Ah. This dungeon even looks boring. It's just three square... Uh, I can't even count. Three square floors, right. That is three. And not a mysterious number called four. Yeah, am I not doing that? That whole hopping thing, it's kind of annoying. Let's grab this. You found a stone beak! Let's find the owl statue it belongs to. Eventually. Right now I have stuff to do. Goomba's above ground? What's this madness? And speaking of madness, Kirby was apparently not, um, 
satisfied with all the Mario cameos in this game and wanted to make one of his own. So this is the anti-Kirby. He's a bad guy, Kirby. He just goes around and eats everything in his path. Which is kind of the same as normal Kirby. Fairy, get down here. Come on. Fine, disappear into oblivion. I don't care. I stopped caring long ago. What you think of me, fairy? Go away. Switch. Four boomerangs! He's a tough bugger. Oh yeah, let's do a little demonstration. Back down. Our mirror shield can actually reflect Beemos' attacks. I think you can redirect them to a hit enemies, but it takes a little bit of timing. Well, not really timing, more like positioning. But anyway. We have more stuff to throw. And it's alright if you accidentally toss the ball into a pit. It won't go down to the next floor like you would think, but it'll go back to the spot we found it in. So you can't lose it and, like, permanently screw up the dungeon. That would just be mean. I'll deal with you in a second. We need to throw that over there for later. There we go. You got the compass! Ah, keys hitting the room. Blah, 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 blah. Can't go around that way. Now, all the floor management and crystals here. Actually, we can't do anything from here. Yeah, already I totally forgot what I'm actually supposed to do. For some reason... This dungeon demands your attention, but it's easy to forget what you're supposed to be doing. Which kind of goes to show you why the other dungeons ma managed uh, their little puzzles and such with only one floor. Ah, anyway. Need to do a little crystal balancing here. Hmm. Audio. Just checking. And we're good. Now we can get in here. It's a little tough to see, but between these lights is some cracked wall. Oh, we need to do with something with that in a second. But first... Hi there. Been a while. Can't quite remember this your name. But you threw me right in a pit, you jerk. Oh, whatever. I wanted to come up here anyway. I guess he was upset I couldn't remember his name. But, either way, he gives us our final secret seashell. We have collected all 26 of them. It is a glorious thing. Finish the trade quest last time. Finish out the secret se seashells this time. We're finishing all sorts of stuff. Oh, man. That fireball combo, too. Should probably use my boomerang to heal here. Free fairies. Die! None of that. Speaking of that, that is mine. Yep. 
Screw it up. And that's not going to help anyone. <sighs> Stop piling up on top of each other, please. Shoot. I don't know, even know if I can get over there right now. I might have just wasted my time a little. And I walked into a pit anyway. Silly me! I just don't like this place so much. I'm kind of not paying attention too much. And it's probably not going to do me any good. That guy seems to explode halfway across the room. But anyway, we're over here now. Let's just throw. And let us bomb. I need to get that ball into position, but... If you can't go over the poles, try throwing things you have in your hands. Helpful advice? We need to take out those guys, get the treasure chest over there, so we can hookshot across. We need to get the ball in position anyway, so... It's not too much of a problem that I fell down. Not what I wanted to do. There. Hit that back into position. Ah. Go down. Go around. Up. Balance. Oh, Eagle's Tower. Not a fun place, if you haven't figured that out by now. Alright. Darn it! <sighs> the fact that these guys randomly move around too does not help with trying to match things up. Especially when they pile on top of each other like that. There we go. Now. Ah. Gotta keep that chest there. Not fall in any holes. something. Uh, I'm not going to knock the last pillar down just yet, but I am going to get the ball in position because I want to show something first. Once I open the chest, it should stay there. Thanks for the bombs. Oops. You wait there. I need to do things. Ah. 
As I just realized, I haven't shown off the third floor yet. And these pillars are actually related to the third floor. Thankfully, our hookshot spot is still over there. Gonna need to hit this. Let's check over here quick. I guess that's just so we can get the mirror shield, but we already got it. Welcome to the next floor. Change of sceneries are nice. Even if the change of scenery is full of giant pits. But we're gonna fix that in a little bit. Let's take the time to explore these rooms. Yeah, there's not a lot we can do here right now. A lot of stuff is blocked off. No, there wasn't a chest in that room. I never really know. But we're going to use a bit of creativity to fix that problem. Anyway, we have a mid-boss, whose name I cannot remember off the top of my head. I think it's Grimos? Uh, anyway, he's calling us out. Hey, Runt! You think you can take me? Alright, boys, get this punk out of my face. He is summoning bat people to attack us. But we have a sword. You are glorified for floor panels. You dirty rat. You <laughs> beat my brothers. You'll pay. I'll never forget you. I think my cat is trying to tell me something by knocking things over. And thankfully, I just got to... I just beat the mid-boss. Not sure if that showed up in the recording or not. Grab the nightmare key. And... Midpoint. That took way too long, in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break, feed my cat so she stops destroying my game room, and I'll be right back. Ah, <sighs> okay. My cat has been fed, I checked my enemy list name for the mini-boss's name, and I was nowhere near close. His name is the Grim Creeper. But anyway, let's finish up the, um, the Eagle's Tower, I think? I can't even be bothered to remember the name. The Beagle Shower, how about that? Meagle's Plower. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. It's kind of late. I'm kind of sick of being here. <laughs> so, let's get on, shall we? Floor panels. The most dangerous kind of enemy. Screw you, card guys, that I can't remember their name. I don't need you. And now... Let's do some renovation. Knocking down this last panel. We knock out an entire floor of the dungeon, basically. Yup. Major home reconstruction. And if we head back up to the third floor... We can see that... Those holes are gone. 
Very interesting, that. Go on, Boz. There's one more chest we can get back there. I need to hit a switch somewhere. Or wait, do I? Yeah. Then how do I get in this room? Oh wait, I think I need to open the boss door. Right. Yeah, this is a bit of a weird one. Ah, uh, horse head dodging Beemos. As if horse head management wasn't hard enough. You aren't even looking at me. Hacks! I call hacks! And I just fought to get a secret medicine I didn't even need do it, did I? Hmm. Oh well. Hop. Does the Goomba trick work above ground? Yes, it does. Free hearts. I guess they felt the need to put these guys above ground in this dungeon because there's no underground sections. Seems that we're in a tower. Boing. Ah, I don't want to bother. But yeah. The boss is actually through here. Gonna need a couple things here. First, our shield. And we're gonna need some long range weaponry. Surprisingly, the hook shot works pretty well. Hey, Grim Creeper. I know your name now. Bah! I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to make you wish you were never born. And Trainer Grim Creeper sends out his breviary the Evil Eagle. It's boss time. You want to try to hang out towards the center as much as you can. Get in shots whenever you want to. And try not to fall off. Because if you do, the boss's health resets. He'll try to blow you off, but you want to put up your shield to block the shots. And keep moving into the attack. Oh. He's doing this. When he's doing this, you want to get under him and attack. Uh-oh. Oh no. I might fall off. I might fall off. I might fall off. I didn't fall off. Good. Staying towards the center is your best bet. Oops. Oops. Ah. My energy gone. I lost. But you will be lost too if the windfish wakes. Same as me. You are in his dream. Grim Creeper, played by William Shatner. We've got our heart piece. That door is open, and the seventh instrument of the siren. Get me out of here, please. You've got the organ of evening calm. Ocarina. The music of the ocarina leads. That's not much of a hint as where to go. Oh. But... 
There's just really only one major chunk of the map we haven't been to yet. Well, other than the rest of the raft area. Which I'm... I guess I'll cover that sooner or later. And so there's only one chunk, major chunk of the area left here. I think you can guess where we need to go next. Owl. That's weird. Anyway. I would say see you next time at this point, but we got our last secret seashell in there. And I think we should take care of something. Q magic editing powers. And just like that, we're at the Seashell Mansion. Yup. We can finally claim our prize. For collecting all these blasted seashells. Thankfully you don't need exactly 20 like the other prizes. My job here is finished. Whoa! Lightning! You got a new sword! You should put your name on it right away! And, just as a bonus, it refills our health! The seashell sword is ours. All 26 secret seashells acquired, and we now have a level 2 sword. Which, of course, can shoot sword beams. At full health, anyway. There we go. It is a beautiful thing, indeed. Well, that's all for now, I suppose. We've got our level 2 sword, our level 2 shield. We've got all of the secret seashells. 11 pieces of heart, our red tunic. The third song on our ocarina. 60 arrows in our inventory. And the seventh instrument of the siren. Huh. <sighs> that's actually a lot more than I thought I was going to be getting. But... We're pretty decked out at this point, and there's still one more dungeon to go. I'll see you back at the Eagle's Tower at the next episode of Link's Awakening 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Pronunciate your words, please, Sparky. Anyway, I'm signing off for now. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, enjoy the video. I'm sure you already did. Uh, flubbing up the ending as usual. See you next time.